Hi everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. In this product information video, I will be demonstrating how to set up the new Kenwood Remote app with an iOS device on a 2017 DDX Multimedia series of receivers. It's a very simple connection process that only has to be done one time. Let's take a look. To use the Kenwood Remote app with an iOS device, first Download the Kenwood Remote app by entering into the App Store, search for two words, Kenwood Remote, and then install the application. Next, we'll need to set the connection type on the receiver. Enter into the settings, select System, and then select App Setup. In the App Setup menu, there will be two device type selections, iPod iPhone or Android Other. Select iPod iPhone, then select Change. Select Bluetooth as the connection type, then select Next. This will bring up a list of paired devices to the receiver. Select the iOS device, then select OK. Press the Home button, then select the iPod source. Now open the app from the iOS device, select OK. Now the app is connected to the DDX multimedia receiver. You'll notice that iPod is the current source on both the receiver and the iOS device. You'll be able to use gesture controls to go back and forth. For example, slide to go back, slide to the right to go to the next song. You can select the three lines in the upper right hand corner. This will allow you to make your receiver setting changes such as your equalization and time alignment. If you select the back arrow and select the three lines in the upper right hand corner again, you can press mode change. This will put you in passenger mode. Passenger mode has controls that are labeled on the display. Thanks again for tuning in to the iOS setup procedure for the Kenwood Remote app for use with a new 2017 Kenwood Multimedia Receiver. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time.